Now on schedule default scene. Sound levels button. Default default scene. Default scene. Finish. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, if you guys are here, don't forget to drop me a comment here. Uh, this podcast I'm listening to is just about up. I want to thank you guys for your support. Really appreciate it. Uh, going to be playing around with some software for doing more Facebook Lives. I know I've been saying that forever, but uh, Ecamm Live is what we're playing with. Uh, working on some goal stuff, but I wanted to reach out to you guys and primarily use today as an opportunity to say thank you. Uh, I, I realized that a lot of you have shown me some support and a lot of you have been there to, to help me out with realizing that the knowledge that I have can help others. So thank you guys for that ability, uh, or for that opportunity to share my, Default scene. to share Sound my... Levels. Button. Not uncomfortable. This is my turn off. One. Oh. looking for. Uh, hmm. Finish. Insecurities. That's what I'm looking for. Man, couldn't think of it. Anyways, so thank you for letting me share my insecurities with you guys. Uh, for being there for me. For some of you guys, uh, reach out and say like we we chat on the phone. If you have any questions or if you guys need any help, reach out. Let me know. Uh, my biggest issue is. My biggest issue is I don't have enough people to help, and then I feel like I'm not helping anyone. Huh. Interesting issue to have. Interesting. Uh, and then we're going to be doing some fun stuff with Google come February. I'll probably have a Pixel XL phone, or a uh, Pixel XL 3, or a um, Pixel Book. So either way, we'll be talking about those from small business owner's point of view we've got the your own pay podcast network which is growing in uh content so we're working on that uh trying to think what else we're working on if you have content for the podcast let me know love to chat with you about that or if you know someone who might be interested in producing content for the podcast let me know oh that's the other thing i'm working on putting together a webinar so i can uh control system dialogue Notification center. Notification alert window. It can live. It can live. It can live. Dialogue. Finish. Finish. Add overlays. Uh, apparently, I'm getting a phone call. Of course. That's my luck. Boom. There we go. So, uh, working on a YouTube. No, no, I'm not. Joe slash Add overlays. Webinar. Finish. Get it right, Michael. Come on. Get it right. Get it right. Working on a webinar of my own that I can say that I did. Yes, I'll be selling Plus something. It's going to be a bi-weekly mastermind, so I'll, I'll let you club members know right now. Um, Add overlays. Finish. Sorry, I had to make sure the dogs weren't out. It sounded like one of them was out, but that was a different dog. Anyway, so it's going to be a bi-weekly mastermind. Um... Price point's going to be around 67 a month. Club members, I, so lifetime club members are not going to pay for it. Uh, I have one club member right now that's paying on a monthly basis, and I think I'm just going to throw her in the mastermind so I can say I at least have one student in there, unless she has any objections to it. Uh, and then the 67, it's going to be available. My goal is for uh, four sessions, so eight weeks. And then after that, I want to take those recordings and let the mastermind session know. We'll use this as a live case study during the mastermind. Is the service, type of service, stuff that I like to do is uh, we will sell monthly access at a lower cost. Nine ninety seven is the price point. I'm thinking after eight weeks, two people getting access to the membership and having access to all the previous recordings. The live session is $67 still, or will still be $67. I might bump that up to 97 at that point, keeping it at 67 for the existing members and, um, Da, 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 da. The payown.club lifetime members would get continue their lifetime access, and the one member that's paying the thirty dollars a month, she would keep getting her access at that price. So, uh, a few different price points to experiment with. Uh, I've wanted to do different masterminds. I've talked to multiple people about it, and everyone's like, "Yeah, let's do it," and then no one does it. So, I guess my idea is maybe I will do it, but. 
then I get that, that thought of, is it a stupid idea? So let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. That's one of the things I'm throwing around. And, uh, yeah, I want to do some more with some goals. Hold on a sec. So a few things. I want to do some more with some goals. Uh, one of my goals is to get back to daily content. AOTD originally was supposed to be daily content. Now it's bi-weekly. Opposite weeks is Demasi and I. But I almost wonder if producing content in the payon.club group would be worth it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Payon.club is going to be growing because that's where everyone's going to go in when they get into the mastermind. So, anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts. Oh, and we'll be doing webinars to get people in and Reddit. Mm, Reddit is an amazing tra traffic generator. Those of you who don't know, oh, man, you can go find subreddit of people. And don't just spam your link. I learned that. I got blocked from the disability subreddit. Shit happens. Uh, don't just spam your link, but go out there and connect with people. Answer the questions that they're asking. Amanda, I'm speaking to you if you're watching this. One thing that I'm thinking of for you is you could go into the uh, reddit.com slash r slash careers or slash r slash and do a search for Australian careers or Australian government careers and go connect with people in there who are asking questions or who are exploring career opportunities and answer their questions, driving them back to a free session for you. Hey, if this provided you any value, uh, put a link at the bottom, use text expander to automate it, put a link at the bottom. Hey, if this provided you any value, then all you need to do is click here and uh, get book an appointment with me or something. And then that goes back to Tom. Tom, you could go to reddit slash r slash blind. There's a lot of blind people in there that are new to the iPhone. Like I met a, a blind young lady. She's in 12th grade here in the US. Uh, she just got her first iPad midway through last year. She's a YouTuber and she's gaining a lot of attention because people are curious about how she's doing what she does. And she stumbled her way through being... Like she stumbled around and uh, tried to figure out how to use the iPad uh, for the last half of her 11th grade. And then all this year, everything she's doing in her remote learning environment is all on the iPad. And she's like super excited that she has the accessibility. But for me, who's been using the iPhone for eight years, I'm like, well, cool, you can use the iPhone. But for someone who's never had that opportunity, it's, it's eye, eye opening or life changing, depending on how you want to use that. So, uh, go to Reddit, slash r slash blind, slash r slash access technology, slash r slash, wait, no, accessible, uh, no, assistive technology, I cannot talk, slash r slash, uh, disability, don't spam in there, they don't like spam, I'll let you know that right now, uh, but find some subreddits that your ideal client, we're talking about messaging in the blind employment solutions mastermind, uh, and this is fun uh, <laughs> regarding that. If you want more help with messaging, I, I can get, help you guys out with Desiree. She's an amazing individual who will help you clarify your message. But in those subreddits, you can connect with the people whose problems you solve. Solve their problems for them. Give them the answer. Like th That's the big thing is answer the question, in my opinion, answer the question for people. More Thompson. New IP to and then offer them to connect with you on a live session and use a QD or something like that to automate it. Anyways... I totally did not know where I was going to go with this. Finish. I have a couple dogs that want in, so I'm going to let you guys go. If you got any value out of this video, please tap the like button. And, oh, that's the other thing. I'm setting up a referral program that I'm going to test out. It's going to be in very raw Remember, beta, which means only Having trouble viewing this email. club members are going to get access to it. Uh, I haven't figured out the commissions, but if you guys are interested, would you guys... It, it, Sharing a mastermind where people could jump on and chat with me on a bi-weekly, so once every other week basis on Zoom is what I'm thinking. Would you guys be interested in sharing that opportunity with people and then getting compensated for sharing it? The reason I'd make it a beta program is, number one, I don't know how it would work. So there will probably be things that get screwed up, to be honest with you. So I, I want to be transparent. I don't want to roll it out to people and be li in live and then have to deal with the headache of a lot of customers. I've, I've got six, five or six people in the group right now. So that many people trying to do payouts for that, that, that would be just fine. But... <coughs> If I open that up, I, yeah, it'd just be a headache. So anyways, I, if that's something you guys are interested in, I'm thinking about a 20 or 30%. Actually, I'm thinking 30% commission based on any product that I offer. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know. 
but that's a touchy subject. I just want to make sure you guys, eh, we got a cat coming to visit. Whoa, cat coming to visit. Cat coming to visit. Whoa, come here. Come here, fuzzy. Whoosh. Hold on. But if you guys are interested, let me know. And uh, we'll explore that further. If you're not interested, then we won't finish. waste the time. Anyway, finish. gotta go let dogs in. Press finish. Cancel. End broadcast. Press finish.